prophetic healing and deliverance ministries founder Walter Megea is in the eye of a storm for allegedly duping Israeli investors of 3 million US dollars in a botched mining deal, Newsday can report. The case is before the High Court under case reference No. HCH 621-23 awaiting trial. According to a memorandum obtained by Newsday, McGay allegedly solicited for 3 million US dollars from investors in early 2022 under the pretense of developing a gold mine. The PhD ministry's founder would hold 57% shareholding with the Israeli investors taking up the remainder. According to Chanoa Law Chambers which is representing Ambassador Rani Aaron Levi Musin, Consul General of Zimbabwe in Israel, the diplomat sourced 3 million US dollars from Israel for the botched deal. He gave it to Megea to fund a certain mining project in Zimbabwe, which the self-styled prophet had presented as viable and productive. On receipt of the funds, Megea attested to an irrevocable promissory note to which he acknowledged to having received the full three US dollars 000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 and to which he committed himself to a repayment of debt structure. The letter from the lawyers read, Subsequent agreements were signed between the parties in anticipation of a long-term mining project whose intention was to open employment opportunities for many Zimbabweans. Regrettably nothing good turned up from this project. Musin said Megea failed to pay the loan when rightfully and legally demanded. This made litigation inevitable and currently parties await trial proceedings before the High Court under case reference No. HCH 621-23. The lawyer said. Chihuahua Law Chambers said Megea failed to register a mortgage bond on the two immovable properties identified for encumbrance according to the signed agreement between the parties. It was only after the matter had been opened with the High Court under the said HCH 621 23 that Mr. Megea moved to register a mortgage bond on one of the two properties. But this action does not remedy the breach or alleviate, sick, him from his duty to promptly repay the 3 million US dollars with accrued interest. The lawyer said. The consul said. The mining project itself appears to have died a stillbirth, as no licenses have been operationalized and no significant mining activity has been activated at the mine. It is yet unclear whether Megea had any rights in or to the mines he represented as owned by him or whether he ever made a serious effort to develop the mines. Megea is accused of deliberately not taking steps to register the joint venture company through which such mining activities were supposed to be operated. Before seeking court remedies, the investor through Ambassador Rani Aaron Mears and Levi made numerous trips to Zimbabwe to try and resolve the issue. Various meetings were held in Zimbabwe where Megea made many undertakings to settle, said the lawyers. Regrettably, these undertakings turned out to be nothing but delaying tactics as Megea failed to honor all the undertakings. Efforts to get a comment from Megea were fruitless as his spokesperson at Meyer Mango did not respond to calls and messages. A caller using mobile number 0717 later said Mango was at a prayer mountain preparing for last night's crossover church service.